PTFE. No, that's Teflon. PTFE. <laughs> yep, that's Teflon. In, in, yeah, please, Mike, you can you can answer if you want. Yeah, it, I mean it's quite simply it PTFE polytetrafluoroethylene is PTFE, and that is the chemical name for Teflon. And we all understand Teflon as being very resistant to chemicals, very good lubricant. Um, and, you know, it's used for everything from stopping foods from sticking to your cookware to, um, to greasing the axle of your car and maintaining uh, a good slippery surface. It is uh, a common replacement for silicone. So, it, from a lubrication standpoint and from a durability standpoint, it is a, an outstanding lubricant. Absolutely. Uh, probably, uh, you must be also knowing, uh, whether you know or not, I don't know. But this was by accidental, this particular product has been uh, evolved into the lab. In, in uh, America, uh, the scientists were working out with some uh, uh, material and the chemical which was coming out, uh, the combination and all, and suddenly they found it out, this, the PTFE or the polytetrafluorethane, and wherein they did try to find it out that, oh, this has got the fantastic wear properties, it has got the fantastic temperature resistance and all, all such kind of things, and this is by accident, and then it was uh, termed and named as the PTFE. Of course, the, the brand name or the manufacturer of this have been uh, very well established uh, over the period of time. And that has been utilized by the dry film application, the dry film and the solid lubrication, wherein they can perform the significant role. Because the poly, uh, PTFE is the white color, uh, it can accept the pigments. And by adding the pigments, one will be able to have a variety of different colors. And in fact, the ASTM has given one insight to the manufacturers that you should be able to utilize this color coding for identifying the type of uh, O-rings, maybe if it is a um, um, uh, application wise or even for the rubber content point of, point of view also actually. 